What's up, Brethren? I'm sorry, the heads up wire got tangled up there. It's midweek chat time. This is the first of two videos you'll get from me today. Finally, have the Total Recall review in the can, and I'm going to get that up today as well, but didn't want to fall behind on midweek chat. So, midweek chat this week. Celebrities. Do I care? Do I not care? You know what? Really, the only time I care is when it's somebody that I really like. Like, I'll read everything Jennifer Lawrence or Emma Stone or Emma Watson or Carrie Underwood or Taylor Swift is doing. But normally, I don't really follow up on it that much because I have a better life. You know, bigger and better things to do with my life than worry about what's going on in celebrities' personal lives. It is hard when someone dies as we just learned about Corey who was Finn on Glee and the way addiction took his life and that is very very hard to hear about those things especially when like me you have a family that's dealt with addiction their whole lives so that was very very hard on me to hear but normally you know celebrities are people too so how they live their lives outside the public eye, I really don't care about because, as James said, the chances of us becoming buddy-buddy with any of them are very, very small indeed. So, that's my quick little two cents on this, and honestly, topic number two isn't going to be very long either. This was a week I don't have a lot to contribute to. Next week, I'm hoping it'll be a far larger, more interactive video because I think I chose one of the topics. I'm not for certain because I'm sure Jamie, or Jamie, sorry, had another friend on my brain. I'm sure James gets a lot of people giving him good topics and just because he says he's going to use one, you don't know when it's going to be used. But I did suggest a topic that I'm 98% sure is going to be used. So I'm hoping it's next week so I can have a lot more to say. But anyway, films that need a Criterion release, I'm going to just echo James. I'm going to say either Version of the Fly, I'm going to say that anything Dario Argento that isn't already out on Blu-ray, I would love to see him because Dario Argento is just a true master of our time and just for the heck of it just to be different because this one hasn't come on blu-ray yet for some strange reason and it's the only Nicholas Sparks work not to get a blu-ray treatment and in my opinion it's his best work and that's without seeing Safe Haven as of yet I'm gonna fix that this week so my opinion might change but as of right now A Walk to Remember is still my favorite so I'm gonna go with A Walk to Remember just because if Criterion got a hold of it, it would be guaranteed a blue release. Does it fit their MO? No. But neither do some of what James suggested, you know, Jaws and films like that because they've already been released. So, yeah. As far as my Criterion collection, I only have the one that you all have seen that came from Ryan, and that's Seven Samurai, which I actually still need to mail them mail it off to them and get it replaced since it didn't work right so Ryan if you see this remind it'll be a reminder to us to to get all that sorted because we haven't talked in a while so yeah there you go that's my very quick midweek chat for this week good topics though as always James Andy Enterprises down below full screen referral link down below and I will see you all and a bit with the Total Recall review, and I might do the movie tag today. Didn't get officially tagged, but Angel said that she forgot me in her video. So, yeah, I'm going to do the movie tag also. So, I don't know if I'll do three videos in one day. It will depend. But, there you go. See y'all soon.